Hello and welcome to Kentucky Brew Reviews. I'm Radar. Special K. And Steward Reserve. <laughs> We're good? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Drink some, let's drink some alcoholic beverages. This is, this is called Buzz Tea. It's the original hard iced tea. Uh, it's 6.5% alcohol by volume, so it's a higher ABV. Oh, okay. But same price as Twisted Tea, so when we were in North Carolina, they had an entire refrigerator with nothing but Twisted Tea, and on the very bottom, there's just two of these. There's a half and half, and then there's this one. Hmm. So, the half and half was good. Uh, so I expect high things from this one. That's, that's kind of dark. It is... Uh, 6.5%, so you're getting an extra percentage there. Let's be real, you know, still it's gonna get slightly more. <laughs> so, I'm not huge on the can. I don't like the can you that don't like much. The can? I don't like the thumbs up. <laughs> uh, can just seems kinda basic. Start buzzing. Text us at 336 396 6649. Text that number. We, I, did, we, we, we did that already. You can check ruin the their day. You can check the Discord of the response. Their oh, response. yeah. I forgot it was that. weird. They sent weird responses. So it was, was like that, automated. Was that what it was? It yeah. was like, it was oh, like oh, weirdly kind of. Weird? It was a little bit sexual, but not yeah. really. <laughs> yeah, and the whole time I'm like, what is what is happening? <laughs> it was clearly a robot sending the text this is back. Nice and cold, by the way. It's very cold. That refrigerator is amazing. That refrigerator is awesome. I got to get one for underneath my desk. It tastes like supposed to taste. It's not as uh, it's not as lemony. Well, this has got less like. Well, they had the half and half was super lemony. Yeah, it's not as lemony as supposed to I'll say that. But it's pretty good, right? Yeah, it's more like just regular tea. It definitely tastes like a canned tea, like your brisk or something along those lines. I mean, mm -hmm. out of the malt tea beverages that are out there. I mean, it's not the best. But that's because you can't beat Twisted Tea. It's getting close. I don't know, man. Uh, the half and half, uh, I think the half and half did do it. This one this falls one a tiny rise. bit flat, but you're getting that extra 1.5% alcohol. Well, yeah. It's a little bit more footy. Yeah. It's got a little I just, bit more. I, just, I think, I think <laughs> Twisted Tea has better flavor. Compared to this, yes. If I had to drink this in a night because Twisted Tea wasn't available, I wouldn't be mad. I mean, I'd drink it. You'd see the hangover mm -hmm. boys. <laughs> and get, but then yeah. I'd just be like, get drunk 20% faster. Could be Twisted Tea. <laughs> yeah. That'd be me. It's yeah. not bad. You know, I think good. the flavor's more milder mm -hmm. than what I'm used to with Twisted Tea. The real question is, does this come in a bag? Probably not. Can I get a box of this? Probably not. Mm. Then, then Twisted Tea is going to win every time. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but we're not here to debate Buzz Tea and Twisted Tea. This is true. Uh, man, I wish I had a regular Twisted Tea. We'd do a head-to-head. -head. Oh, we drank it all. <sighs> I wish we had a Twisted Tea so I could drink some Twisted Tea. Um, Number on yeah. this one, so... <laughs> It's pretty good. Price is the same as Twisted Tea. You're getting a higher ABV, so you're actually getting a little bit more value out of it as opposed to Twisted Tea. Uh, again, I like their half and half better. Now, I don't like Twisted, uh, Twisted Tea's half and half as much as I like the regular. I like the regular better. This company's half and half tastes more like Twisted Tea's original tea. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So, um, that, that being like said, tea. I'm going to give this a seven and a half. That's what I'm going with. Tell us your wisdom, Steele. I'm still 6. thinking. 6.5. It's good. It's better than average. But there's really nothing that's going to wow. There's nothing, really nothing wowing me about it. You know. Being said, I could drink this, you know. If I go to the store, they're all out of Twisted Tea and it's just this. All right, yeah, I'll grab a couple. Mm -hmm. That's what I'll drink during the night. But am I going to choose it over Twisted Tea? I don't know why I whispered that. Probably not. <laughs> it's, it's not a secret. Yeah, you know, not not trying to be like, oh, knew I could hurt some feelings. The tea can't hear me. It doesn't have ears. But you know, it's. <clears throat> I gotta. It doesn't have out. enough tea flavor. Hmm. 
You know, it's I get what you're saying. on the T and that's what I'm like, saying. I like, I like yeah. my, I like stronger T's, and that's just in just regular T. Forget you know this twisted all that jazz. Just you know, make myself a cup of tea. I like I like that tea. Just a spot of tea. Yeah, spot of tea. <laughs> I'm right there. Like like I said, I still think that their their half and half is has more flavor than mm. this. This one remind the flavor is close to the twisted tea light a little bit as far as flavor goes. You're not wrong. I'm giving this like a five. Of all of the the hard teas, the spiked teas that we've had, I think this is the least impressive one. Like even their own half and half. If they've if the store has got this, this stuff, they've probably also got the half and half. In which case, yeah. I'm buying the half and half. I'm not right. buying this. I agree with that one. Um, I'm gonna say this is easily as far as teas go, though. Like canned teas, because we've had quite a few on the market. Somebody keeps telling us there's an Arnold Palmer out that's supposed to be really good. Mm. I haven't seen it. Um, it's called a twisted tea half and half. That I know, but Arnold Palmer brand, branded. <laughs> um, this is a close second as far as the twist on the twisted tea line. Now all the twisted teas, for the most part, um, are above this one, but this is a close second because it, you know as far as other teas out there, a lot of them are just really bad. I mean, you know, Steel, we've had quite a few on the show. Yeah. I remember we did a John Daly's tea. We did that. Um, oh, God, I remember that one. There was that really, really cheap one we had recently that was absolutely <laughs> awful. Um, but for what this is, you know, it's not a bad buy. If you see it on sale, I might pick it up over Twisted Tea if it was cheaper that day. It would have to be, it would have to be pretty significantly cheaper. Well, I'm saying if Twisted Tea was two for five and this was two for four, I might pick two of these up and two Twisted Teas. <laughs> You know, yeah. Start out with the twisted teas. Yeah, this is kind of no, 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 as no, no, well. no. You start off with the buzz tea, so you're buzzing quicker. And then you save the That's twisted true. tea. That's true. They're six percent. Savor, yeah. savor the flavor. Yeah, savor the flavor. There, radar. Yeah. Recommend it. No. I'm, while you're thinking, if Twisted Tea is not available, then it's not a bad it's not a bad choice. Yeah, it'd be yeah, a good yeah. backup, I suppose. And also, um, but if you're going to buy a Buzz Tea, buy the half and half. That's what I'm going to go with. I'll agree with what Special K says there. I haven't had the half and half, but if you're saying the half and half is better, go with the half and half now. We gave it almost an eight and a half, nine. I think. Yeah, it was, it was legitimately good. Eight and a half, nine. Something like what that. What is going on with my voice? We're having, it's good times. It's... Right it's gonna on. be it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good times <laughs> later. All right, well that's been our episode. If there's something you would like to see on the channel, you can leave a comment right there or right there. Don't forget to hit that thank you button and hit the thumbs up button. I'm Special K. Uh, I'm still <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks for watching. Crap. Let's, let's end it the right way, guys.